Sergey and Robert, five years ago we quit our jobs, sold our house and all of our possessions and began living the dream of traveling the world with only backpacks on our backs. After flying over 300,000 miles and visiting 82 countries, COVID brought us to a screeching halt. True to our fashion, we improvised and bought a brand new van and built it out in just six weeks to explore the United States until international travel opens up. So for the 8020 build on the van, on the low roof uh, Sprinter, we are gonna use MakeCAD. We used it on this van too, and uh, it worked out awesome. We did this whole uh, power wall with the MakeCAD, just cutting with a cutoff saw on the 8020, and then just assembling, and it worked great. You know, the key obviously you have to have all your dimension, or you know, your your dimensions all set and solid, but. I went ahead and put through all the pieces and parts. We're making some changes on the low roof, but basically the same as what we have on our current high roof 4x4. So this is MayCAD, M-A-Y-C-A-D. You can download it for free. I think it's a Netherlands company that uh, puts it out, but it doesn't matter. As you can see in here, we have all the pieces and parts. You can do a flyover, which they call. Um, you know, so there's the couch bed. We're not doing the bunk bed on the, uh, on the low roof. Refrigerator, the kitchen, the power wall, clothes, and the drawer. So these are the parts that you put in there. And it's super simple to use. I will show you in a second. I'll stop it. What you do, the best thing to do is almost everything starts out as a box. So if you look at this, it's it's a box. This is a box. This is a box. Everything pretty much is a box at the start. So you just go ahead, put in your width, your length, your height. You can do it in metric or you can do it in uh, um, imperial inches. You want to select what you have for your 8020. In our case, we're using 30 millimeter. And this one right here. And, but they have all these, so it'll draw out all these and all this. So this is American, the U.S. version out here, but we're using the European version because we can find connectors for that easier. So you pull this up and you make sure your profile's that and go ahead and click. It'll create a box. As you can see, I'm just going to put it out here so it doesn't ruin what I've already done. Um, and you click it. And it'll go ahead and it says it's creating connectors and the connectors are the the what holds it all together so at that point in time you can then go ahead and extrude pieces of uh, 8020 so again make sure it's 30 30 for us and you go in here and just click and you can you know give you the dimension so right now it's halfway between those two points which is pretty slick you just click on it and then you drag it to where you're going and it'll give you it'll show you a green it's a little hard to see on this but it'll show you green showing that you're all the way to the top and you go ahead and click on that then you can come and do if you want one down the side you can bring it over here and you can see the green there and if we uh if we and you can go ahead and roll this around and then you can go ahead and get different angles of what you want. So in this case, it's going to show us, again, the dimensions between. So let's say I wanted to move that over and I wanted it to be, you know, whatever, 19 and 7 16 from the edge. Go ahead and click. And then go up to the top and click again. And it goes ahead and creates it. So you can make whatever you want uh, using all the different pieces of 8020. It then comes out and tells you how many connectors you need over here, how many profiles, so that's individual cuts that will be made, and number of panels. And the panels are these here. So you can come in here and say, okay, for instance, I want a door. I want a door right here. And it'll, uh, this one's probably, over here is probably better. You click it, and then I'll rotate this so you can see it. That's still working, okay. I have a slow 
It's a little locked up. It goes ahead and creates the door and then it'll show us the dimensions of these cuts for that door. It puts a latch in, it puts the hinges in. So now all that's inside of this program and when we go to the bill of materials, I'll show you, it'll show us what we need. Um, at this point then, we have that, you can put the door and you can put panels. So in this case, if we want a, a panel, um, let's see, if we want a panel, oops. Okay, so if we want a panel, we can go in here and click it, and it puts a panel in that location then. So you can see that it's kind of shaded, and that means there's a panel in there. It'll give you the cuts then, exactly how to make that panel. And the panels then, you can ha either have it slot paneled, so it goes within the 80-20 slots. You can have it uh, contour, so it's over the top. You can do a rectangle uh, panel. There's other things like end caps, corners, stuff like that, that I have not used. I guess a slot cover. Um, but anyway, it's got a lot of things. You can measure between two points if you need to figure out what the, uh, the measurement is. Um, some of this other stuff I have not used, but it's, it's very straightforward. Connectors, so it's very very slick system for sure. At this point, if you wanted just to, you can go in here and edit the bill of material. And this will pop up here. Uh, the computer's a little slow. Okay, it'll pop up and it'll tell you everything that you need. But what I do is I go down the raw material. And this is just going to show the profile pieces. So you can see it, one of my bars is a 4040, which is not correct. But anyway, it gives you what you need so 116 meters this is meters um of 80 20. um so then i know how much i need to order so that gives me the raw material which is really nice if i go back here and i'm going to do a quick delete of what i just created so you just highlight the whole thing uh you make sure you don't grab another one though so do that again yeah like that so you just highlight this whole thing and then you can hit delete and it'll delete it just so it doesn't mess up what I already have at this point in time we'll go to get bill of materials and this is where it's slick so this is just like a CAD system that a company would use I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna produce the bill of material it's gonna give me a PDF I'll just do test Okay, it's going to give me a PDF of all the information I need and more. Um, it's really for businesses and you can actually use this MakeCAD to produce something and then you want to produce a hundred of them, let's say. Well, it's going to give you the material requirements for a hundred of whatever you're building. And then it's going to give you the, and you'll see the expanded view. It's going to show you what numbers of profile cuts so 80 20 cuts which ones go together to create the um whatever you're building and go in here so yeah so this is a pdf that gets produced once it comes up go to the top and i should be able to bring this smaller okay so then you can see it shows everything that I had and this is a, a previous design but uh, what I had but I'll show you the bill of materials so it shows you all the profile cuts of the 8020 and what you need okay so this one came up and it'll show you but I don't I don't use that that much what I do use if we go down here and this so it shows you nicely exactly what you're building it gives you this information, which I don't use, but you you know obviously you can. All this, this is assembly instructions, which I, I don't use either, but I do reference it in case uh, there's questions. It shows you your uh, how you do your doors in detail, which is very nice. Cool. Okay, so here's the panels. So it gives you the cutouts 
for all your panels that go inside of the 8020 slots. And so all these panels then need to be cut out and then they're ready to put into the 8020 when you assemble. So we have quite a few in there. Then down here, this is where it's really nice. So these are suggested profile cuts. So these are the cuts that you make on a cutoff saw of the 8020 in these dimensions. And I believe these are um, uh, these are imperial right now, so inches. I always switch those to metric. Metric's easier to cut and measure. But so it shows each one. And so it helps eliminate waste. So if you look at this, everything's getting used. So that piece isn't getting used, but everything else is getting used. So very little waste by doing this. And of course, because this is what companies rely on. So you can really limit what you have for 8020 use. So all those cuts. So what we will do is we will take the 8020 make all these cuts the only thing is we're going to do it in individual pieces so we'll do the couch and we'll create a bill of material for the couch uh, we'll create the kitchen cabinet and a bill of material for the kitchen cabinet and so on and the reason is is otherwise you have a huge puzzle you got to put together and it's really uh, much harder but if you just do individual pieces instead of the whole thing at once as you can see there's all kinds of cuts and this is the entire build out so basically this, if you do all these cuts on the cutoff saw and then you are ready to go. You just need to assemble everything together and you are you have a full 80-20 build. It gives you some more information in here, but I don't use that. So what it helps you do is you put together the build in detail, um, exact dimensions that you want. And in this case, we're gonna adjust this build in the four x four high roof to be in the low roof one minor adjustments not much because the whole uh, square footage of the floor is the same just the height is a little different so this power wall will change um, but anyway this bill of material would give you the whole cuts and you could sit and cut for you know four hours or whatever lay everything out at that point in time you just go ahead and connect with the connectors of the 8020 and by the time you're done you have all this set including all your panels that it gives you the dimensions on how to cut those so it's really 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 powerful it really makes a big difference otherwise you're measuring which we did on the kitchen cabinet i did not use the matek on that i used it on this power wall and it worked out super good because there's a lot of stuff in there because it holds the batteries um and those cuts worked out perfect so it's it's huge so we're gonna yeah we're gonna cut this whole thing out um, and then go ahead and just assemble everything and put it together. So Maycat or yeah, Maycat, I think it's made by Maytech is uh, very, very powerful for uh, building your 8020s. So the um, right now the 8020 compared to when we did it two years ago or about a year and a half ago on this build is maybe about 20% more expensive than it was, but it's still relative with what we've had to, or you know, with the supply uh, chain problems. But hopefully this helps, follow along. We have a lot more to go. We are gonna do the build out um, soon. So keep watching. We will detail all the little bits and pieces that we have, um, do a thumbs up that helps definitely subscribe so you can see what we do and definitely if you have comments i mean i love this i've done this i have all this ready to go for the new build if you have comments questions whatever um, put them below and i will definitely answer them so we we get back to everybody on all the comments so anyway thanks for watching and have a great day check the mic and make sure it sound right boys Sound right, boys.